Hey guys, in this video I'm going to do set up vehicle to home so we can power our house from a vehicle during power outages. I'm going to install generator inlet and the interlock so we can switch between vehicle or grid. It's going to be step by step setup. If you're interested, let's jump into the video. So right here we have main panel and the inside main panel it's only one breaker. So those wires are going to sub panel. So what we're gonna do on the back side of garage right here install new electrical panel with the interlock and then from a car it's going to be power cord which is going to power electrical panel and supply power to the house in the event of grid outage new electrical panel is going to be installed right behind the main panel to connect two panels together because I'm going to run wires between panels and those wires have to be in the conduit I'm going to use a closed nipple which is going to connect two panels together And uh, now we have conduit pipe going to main panel. Customer wants to install EV charger as well. main electrical panel rated for 100 amps and for EV charger I'm going to install 40 amps breaker to avoid overloading main electrical panel. For 40 amps we need to run 8 gauge wires. For electrical panel I'm going to use square D brand and um, for 100 amps I'm going to run 1 gauge wires and for the new panel we need to install neutral lug then 100 amp breaker to power sub panel and the ground bar. Now we can run one gauge wires from main panel to new sub panel and uh, connect them together. Sub panel in the house connected right now to this 100 amp breaker. So I'm going to disconnect those wires, run them into the new sub panel in the garage to 100 amp breaker, and uh, connect this new sub panel to 100 amp main breaker. And we need to do all of these upgrades because here in the main panel we have space only for one circuit breaker. So that means we cannot install EV charger or we cannot install interlock. So the proper and the easiest way is going to be install new sub panel. So we're going to have additional space for breakers. With the copper wires, we don't have to add any anti-accident compound. But uh, whenever I'm touching older panels, I'm always adding a little bit of this just to serve as a lubrication and uh, to have better connection. In the new sub panel, we have 100 amp main breaker and 30 amps single pole breaker. It's going to be interlock between them. And now we can connect a sub panel in a house to a new 100 amp breaker. Also, when you install and have gauge wires, make sure they are not pushing breaker on any side, so breaker can just be like resting on, on a place, so it's not like pushing bus bars. 
Next step, I'm going to install generator inlet. And it's pretty thick metal. I did try to hammer knockout, but it didn't work. I did try to, to drill this little bit, but also didn't help. So I ended up just like drilling with a hole saw for half inch conduit. Generator inlet can support up to 30 amps. So I'm going to install half inch conduit and the inside will run 10 gauge wires, which are rated for 2 amps. After installing inlet box, we can run wires and connect this to electrical panel. Now when we have inlet installed and we don't have interlock, we can activate a breaker and we have power inside this inlet. So here's why we need to install interlock, so we, we might have only one source of power, either grid or vehicle. By the code, we have to have one electrical outlet in the garage, and this is what customer has right now. And as a courtesy, I'm just going to install another outlet, it just takes about 10 minutes to install, and uh, it's adding much more convenience. For interlocks, we have a few options, first is the Square Dim brand, it's gonna cost about 80 to 90 dollars, or we can buy interlock from another brand, for about one third of the price. Installation is pretty straightforward, we just have to drill three holes, attach a base plate for interlock and screw top plate. And after doing this, we cannot turn two breakers at the same time. And the final step, we can install cover to electrical panel with installed interlock. And here's a cover with interlock installed. So this 30 amp breaker we cannot turn on unless we move this plate up. To move this plate up, we have to turn the main breaker off. So here's how interlock works. And now it's time to test setup. We have this adapter, which we insert into car charging port. And this car is a Hyundai Ioniq 5, which has 77 kilowatt hours of capacity. So it's a lot of power. Now with extension cord we can connect car with generator inlet. And the first step we need to turn main breaker off so we don't have any power at home right now. And now we can turn 30 amps breaker which is going to connect our generator inlet with electrical panel. And now when we attach extension cord we're gonna supply power to electrical panel. Yeah, so it's gonna be indication here, green light. And then... And right now electric vehicle supplying power to the house with one kilowatt of load. And with this setup it's gonna be one small limitation that only half of the electrical panel is gonna be backed up by battery. And the reason is because uh, we have split phase system with two legs, so leg one, leg two, and neutral. And between neutral leg one, we get 120 volts and 120 volts between leg two and neutral. Between leg one and leg two, we have 240 volts. 
So for heavy equipment, for example, EV charger, we're using double pole breaker. And when we install this double pole breaker, it's gonna land on a two bus bars and get 240 volts. Because in our case, car can output only 120 volts. I have to use a single pole breaker and uh, this is going to land on one of the bus bars. So either leg one is going to be backed up or leg two is going to be backed up. So half of your breakers will receive the power. If your car can output 240 volts, then we can install double pole breaker and entire panel is going to be backed up. All right, guys, that's all about this video. I hope you'll find something useful here. If you do have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments. And as always, thank you for watching and see you later.